I can't express my thanks enough to them. I was 14, and I was a dancer, and I thought, okay, I'm going to be on Broadway, I'm going to just be a professional dancer. In 2009, I was actually in a ballet class, and I started seeing spots in front of my eyes. The next time we noticed something out of the ordinary uh, was actually a few months later, and uh, we had gone to a play that a friend of hers was in. and. Uh, at the intermission, we said, well, how did you like Hannah? Wasn't she doing great? And she said, I couldn't see Hannah. I couldn't tell which one she was. When she went to put on the glasses, tears just streamed down her face because the glasses didn't help. We knew something was wrong, but we didn't know what it was. And I mean, the first thing you think of is not cancer. <laughs> I mean. It, it did enter our minds. Turns out it was a tumor pressing on my optic nerve and wrapped around the pituitary gland, a, can a cancerous tumor. From that point on, it's like we were in a movie watching somebody else go through it. I couldn't believe it at first. And it's like, okay, now what? Now what, what are we going to do to get rid of it? She was admitted June 9th and June 12th we had a diagnosis. The team all came to my room and talked to me and my parents and just made it um, peaceful. Peaceful is a good word. As it turns out, the type tumor that Emily had um, is very rare. She had a 50-50 chance of survival. It was after her second round of chemo that the tumor was gone, and that's when we sighed a huge sigh of relief because we knew it was working. It was very high dose chemotherapy. You know, it was so, so intense. This type tumor affected all of her endocrine system and all of her hormones had to be replaced. There's things that she accomplished prior prior to this that a lot of people would look up to and admire, you know, as a performer, but it meant nothing compared to coming through this and overcoming with, not just overcoming, but with the grace that she has. That's what I'm proud of. Being a performer, I just jumped into that and have recorded three songs with them already. And that was great. It, it was a chance for me to get back on stage again. I have a great team at Texas Children's supporting me, and I'm cancer-free, and I mean, I'm healed. <laughs>